So I made a mistake last time. This pad right here turns out to be the same um, paper as one of these fives in here, which is the top one. Which means I... <laughs> I swatched on the same paper twice. <laughs> So I thought uh, in this video I'd just do all these swatches on the other types of paper that's in here, in the color one, just to get it all, basically. And then after that, these Yupo papers are actually meant mostly for uh, alcohol ink. I don't know what it's called. You know the ones where you pour it on you, and it just spreads out on the paper and it, you get this kind of abstract art? Yeah. So I thought I'd try this today. I, I got this one in a scrawler box a few months back, so I thought I'd test it. But first, this one. You can see the difference in them, see the difference in color. One thing I forgot to um, test on the other types was uh, ink, like regular ink. the list in the front here the top paper was warm white and warm white is in it says in the bottom so it's probably from the bottom up because I'm guessing this back here is natural and then we have foam and then cream yeah I'm pretty sure this is pearl gray there isn't that much difference between these two right here. These two are different. This is warm white and this is pearl gray. So there's also three of each color. I took out one of each of these other colors, but I did not take one out of this top color, which means this, the three first ones are warm white. Then we have two pearl gray. Then we have two cream, two fawn, and then two natural at the back. And we have the cream. You can see the color difference here. Maybe better there. some chalk on this. Yes, we'll just keep going. The, 
medical markers didn't go through the paper. That's, that's interesting. This is a good time to talk a little bit about the art supplies that I have here. Um, it, it might look like a lot, but I'm quite old and um, I went to art school when I was younger, so I have a lot from my older days. I went completely digital um, a few years back uh, and I only recently started taking up these uh, traditional uh, supplies again and I was never good at it to start with. So <laughs> I'm basically starting from scratch, apart from maybe alcohol markers, but I wasn't really good at that before either, so yeah. The first medium I took up was uh, oil paint. Uh, I didn't include oil paints here. They take far too long to dry and these papers aren't really for oil, oil paints anyway. So this uh, pen I actually recently bought, uh, with I bought it with the papers. I just really wanted to try it out. Fun fact about this though, I saw it on sale in a local store after I bought it. Ugh, that's annoying. <laughs> these pencils came in a, in a pack. I've had these since high school, or let's see. I'm not really sure what high school, I mean high school in Britain and high school in, in America are different, aren't they? I, re I can never remember which one is which. Anyway, they're about 15 years old, maybe. This pen uh, came in uh, the wish haul that I had recently. Same with this pen right here. These I've also had for a very long time. Not quite as much as 15 years, but maybe 10 years. These though, these I've had for a very long time. At least 15 years. I never really took to them. That's why they've been lying around and you know, I gave them away and then they returned to me somehow because they didn't want them after all. Uh, these I bought also, I think at the same time as these. Then with this one, actually no, this one's older. This is more in the age of 15 years, I think. And then we have my Dervant Color Soft pencil, uh, color pencils. Uh, I have the set of, I have the set of 72 of these, which I bought uh, maybe 12 years ago. Uh, I got a small discount because I was an art student, but I haven't used them much. Most of my pencils are this size. I think there's a couple that are like maybe <laughs> half the size. I think I mentioned this earlier, but this came, I bought some oil colors second hand. They chip 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 and they just threw these, this one in and a couple of other markers that I didn't really need, but they threw them in. So I have a few of these echo line markers. Uh, most of them I got for my birthday by my roommate. And then I bought a couple myself. I have a few of these. Bought these second hand as well on this Norwegian site called Findo Denu. I have quite a few of these. Half of them I got for free actually from my roommate. She didn't want them anymore. This is the old brand. They're not named that anymore. They are now Winsor Newton. And then the other half actually I got from my best friend. And I gave her a little money for it, just for good measure. And uh, I have two of these only, only two of these. I just wanted to try them out. They were really expensive. This is the brush variant of the touch markers. As you can see here. Uh, and I bought a couple colors only because they were so damn expensive. And really, I don't feel like, I don't feel like they're any better than Winsor Newton. And then we have these. They're my Pebeo Aquarelle Fan. These are probably... Probably 10 years old. I used them for a little bit and then I packed them away because I went all digital. Now we have this. This one's very new. This is one's brand new. This palette right here. I bought this to, to keep my gouache in. These ones in the corners here are all uh, my Daler Rowney designer's gouache. 
I have the primary primary colors and then black and white and it was a pack of let's see six these are also uh, I think the same age as these watercolors here about 10 years old I just never used them because I went all digital but then you have these other ones here are um, Turner acryl gouache and uh, my friend from America gave me these uh, for Christmas so I just thought uh, this palette I bought myself just because I saw a review of them on YouTube and I really wanted it because it's really nice to just have them readily available instead of having the, to bring out the tubes all the time you know and then <clears throat> this is Marie's acryl color bought second hand uh, it was a pack of unopened it was actually quite a few of them it was like six dollars it was so cheap and they were unused unopened so I just thought I'd get them but Marie's is actually quite a cheap brand they're not quality products to put it that way um, acrylics aren't really my thing I did use them uh, at first when I first started arting <laughs> acrylic was just you know the, the regular paint that you would start out with but I don't really love it I did get uh, some last year I did get some golden fluid acrylics because I've been watching 10 hundred um, quite a bit and the way that the fluid paint really just lays down is so beautiful so I, I wanted to try that out but I haven't gotten to it yet so that's gonna be a future video I guess all right it looks dry now if you have any questions about my art supplies feel free to uh, jot down a comment now this is natural you have fun here and then you have natural here i actually had uh, the set that i had of these pencils uh, i gave the rest of them to my friend my best friend um, before I found these, I apparently took them out and put them somewhere else, but I already gave her the other set. So I hope she's not mad at me for not giving it to her, I guess. Yeah, now feel free to, uh, you know, hit me up if you really want them included in the set. <laughs> alcohol markers but they were um, I had like six of them but they were all dried up and um, but I do still have uh, five try markers I think that I tried refilling I bought some just some pure alcohol uh, they do tend to drip and leak when you do fill them yourself so just be careful when you do that Also, this is one of my favorite colors from this set. Again, no bleeding. This is uh, this is nice. I think the first one did bleed. Yeah, this one. You'd think these were the same thickness, but as I go backwards, the paper becomes a little, a little bit thicker each time. Very interesting. I'm really happy about these Turner acryl gouache that my my best friend from America got me because they dry really matte. I just haven't gotten to really test them out yet. I thought I'd do that in a video when I get time. I'm in the middle of my exams right now, I'm writing my masters, so I'm a little... I have so many projects going right now <laughs> that you kind of... Sometimes you just lose the will to do anything because there's so much you either have to do or just really want to do. 
paralyzing. And then you do the things you shouldn't do and, and neglect the things you should be doing instead. So it's all about prioritizing time and all this. I'm also moving out this summer, so... A lot of happening. A lot happening. That was bad English. <laughs> a lot of stuff happening. You like the paint dried actually a little faster on this one than the previous one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm... Maybe it's just too light for me right now. <laughs> to think straight. Alright, so time for these. Um, I think I'll start with heavy. I'm not sure how to apply it. Alright, I'm gonna take it out of that, like a little card. And let's see if I can remember how this works. I already tried them, I think I opened it. Oh, right. Is that glue? Oh, right. That's how it works. Oh, it does have a smell. Sure. You wipe the tears of your eyes. Oh. Is that how you do it? Are you supposed to like that? Or are you supposed to lay it flat? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought it would be nice to test as many supplies as possible. I just gotta say, this is a really strong smell and it's almost choking me. I think while that dries, we'll just do the rest of them. I think I have one other color, but let's not make it too complicated. Oh, this is sticky. This acrylic paint, it's really sticky. This is medium. I've written it on the back so I don't forget. But you can kind of feel the difference in paper weight um, between. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. So, and the last one's translucent. So, look how it spreads. It's actually really, really pretty. The translucent. Ah, you can see the writing through. Oh wow, that reacted very differently. this one became so condensed is because I didn't shift it the way I did these two others and by the time I did it it had already dried too much and the acrylic paint is rather sticky on all of these probably because this paper is a uh, plastic or some kind of synthetic that isn't paper so it doesn't color or paint doesn't soak into it it just lies on top like a glazing <laughs> can see it in very different ways actually. You can see it here with the Molotov acrylic marker. Instead of soaking into the paper, it just blends into each other. Alcohol markers do behave kind of similar to the ink, obviously. You get that edge, that dark edge that you have on these. Same with the watercolor marker actually, the water-based markers. Almost look the same. Do you know what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Ecoline and Faber are water-based, Noir and Copic is uh, alcohol-based. Also, I noticed that the colored pencil, the color of the colored pencil, was a lot more vibrant, but at the same time, looked like it didn't really want to be there. It looks like it doesn't belong. 
same with the pastel. Pastel, horrible. And the chalk was even worse. But pencil and pen did okay. And actually, I think between watercolor, acrylics, and gouache, the gouache did the best. I gotta put the cap on this because the smell is so strong. Dang. In case you're wondering about the color, this is a uh, Caribbean. Caribbean. Or is it Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Pirates of the Caribbean. I always thought it was Caribbean as I was growing up, but Caribbean sounds a lot better. Not quite dry yet. This one's dry. <clears throat> This one's dry as well. It's just this one that isn't quite dry yet. Alright, well, now I tested everything. I'm not gonna test these on the other types of paper because um, it is specifically made for this kind, or this paper is specifically made for this. So I don't see any point in testing it on the other paper, especially since I already did use the alcohol markers on them. I'm in the making of a video in where I'm using all of these papers, all of the color ones, even these, in one piece. And uh, it's taking some time. <laughs> I was gonna include it in this video, but it's gonna turn out to be a very long video, so I think I'll just keep this short and concise, and then I'll let that be the next uh, video. Maybe there'll be another video in, be in between, I don't, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what I uh, get the time to do. I hope it has been informal for you guys. Please do uh, let me know if there's something you think I can change or that if there's something you want to see. I'm by all means no expert. Maybe if you do want to see digital art videos, let me know because that's more of my forte. But digital art doesn't really do that well online or on, on YouTube unless you're extremely good. And I'm not extremely good, <laughs> you know? Anyways. Thank you for watching and um, say goodbye to my beautiful works of art. Is this the Rorschach test? <laughs> Could have. Oh, I should have made a Rorschach test. That would have been so much fun. Oh, I can't even pick this up. Alrighty. Which will be your card, sir? Will it be one or two or three? Hmm. Which card will you choose? Which one will you? <laughs> you can't really use it that way. <laughs> oh, you choose the middle one. Hmm. I see. See, you're kind of average. You, you choose to meet you. Hmm. Yes, yes, you're my kind of guy or woman <laughs> or person. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm sorry, that was lame. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>